As we prepare for Season 5 of the Amazing Build series and the release of Elatrion, we have to remember that not all hunters have access to the same gear, weapons and especially jewels. So I'm Dartblade with a budget build for the bow in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now the main purpose of a budget build is to provide a build for newer hunters who do not have a large jewel collection. Thus the builds featured in this series make use of a lot of alpha armor pieces that should allow newer players to farm more jewels for their collection. When it comes to the bow, this weapon is unfortunately a skill heavy weapon, requiring a lot of skills to work effectively. On top of that, it's one of the weapons that requires one of the rarest jewels in the game, the Mighty Bow Jewel. This gives players the Bow Charge Plus skill, to which the only other way to get this skill is to make use of the Legiana or Shrieking Legiana armor sets. On top of that, the bow is also a very effective weapon when it comes to using elements, and as a result, we are making an elemental DPS build. So, for this build, you'll need the Legiana Helm Beta, the Legiana Mel Alpha, the Legiana Van Braces Alpha, Rex Raw Coil Alpha, and the Golden Loon Greaves Alpha. I'm also using a Shock Charm 5, although this can be replaced to match whatever element you are using because you can swap out the weapon for pretty much any element in the game. And for my weapon, I'm using the Thundering Strike Bow, which is the Toby Kodachi Bow. But like I said, you could pretty much use any bow in the game so long as it's an elemental bow. And if you've got access to augmentations, I'd recommend a Definity Increase augmentation and then just maxing out the elemental up augmentation. As for the specialist tools, these are down to personal preference. Now when it comes to the jewels, remember this is a budget build so we're not really using any of the rare ones. Although there are one or two jewels that not everyone may have in this build, but regardless if you were to replace them with what you have available, it's not going to make too much of a difference. So first of all, I recommend taking a bolt jewel to max out the thunder attack. If you were using a different element, this would be replaced to match whatever element you are using. So say if you are using the dragon element, you're using a dragon bow, then you're going to replace the thunder attack charm for a dragon attack charm, and you're going to replace the bolt jewel for a dragon attack jewel. Afterwards, I'd recommend vitality jewels for the health boost skill, an evasion jewel to max out evade window, a physique jewel if you can get it, which will give us some points in the constitution skill, and then if you are able to get it, a force shot jewel. But if not, just use another physique jewel. So if you've done what I've done here, you should have a build with 150 health, 100 stamina, which will be 200 health and 150 stamina when you're on a hunt and taking all your relevant consumables. You have an attack of 282 with 25% base affinity, which can be 75% so long as you're attacking monster weak points that have been tenderized through clutch claw attacks first. You have an elemental thunder rating of 640 with close power and paralysis plus coatings, and you have a decent defense of 1009 that is strong against ice, dragon and fire, neutral against water, but unfortunately weak to thunder. Now, as for the skills, you've got a few of them. First of all is Thunder Attack, level 6. This increases the thunder rating and damage of this build. Of course, like I said, if you're using a different bow with a different element, then you would replace Thunder Attack level 6 to match whatever element you are using. Anyway, you have Evade Window level 5, which is a combination of gear and the jewels we're wearing. This increases our invulnerability period when we perform evades, and is actually quite useful as a defensive skill for the bow, as you're evading a lot. You have Divine Blessing level 3, which again is another defensive skill that sometimes allows us to take reduced damage when we take a hit from a monster. You have Health Boost level 3, allowing our health to get to that maximum of 200. You have Recovery Up level 3, another byproduct of the armor we're wearing, but allows us to heal for more when we take potions. You have Weakness Exploit level 3. Weakness Exploit is a skill that increases our affinity so long as we're attacking monster weak points. And should you tenderize these weak points first, through Clutch Claw attacks, this increase to our affinity is even greater. Weakness exploit at level 3 can provide us a bonus 50% extra affinity. We have Constitution level 2, although this may fluctuate depending on what jewels you have available to you. Constitution is a skill that reduces the stamina cost of firing the bow. Normally you would want to get Constitution to at least level 3, and then this can be topped up with dash juice, but you can get away with it being lower, especially if you're making use of the rotation, quick shot followed by rapid shot, times 3, and then power shot, rinse and repeat. This is the most stamina cost effective rotation and really helps when you have low constitution. Anyway, you have normal shots level 1, which is a result of the 4 shot jaw, increasing the damage of our R2 attacks, or RT attacks if you're on different systems. You have power shots level 1, which increases the damage of our circle shots, or B shots, it does not increase the damage of our power coatings, it just increases the damage of our power shots. And in all honesty, both of these only apply to the raw portion of the attack, not the elemental portion. So that's something to be aware of. Anyway, you have Airborne Level 1, a byproduct of the gear, but increases the damage of our jumping attacks. And then finally, for the set bonus, you'll have the Legiana Ambition Bow Charge Plus, allowing our bow to be charged up one more additional time above what we can normally do. Ultimately, increase on our damage, especially when you start to dash dance. But that is the budget build I'd recommend for the bow. But of course every build out there has pros and cons. 
The biggest pro for this build is its elemental DPS output. Thanks to its elemental attack and weakness exploit, and the bow's natural ability to make use of elemental damage, you can deal quite a bit of damage with this build, so long as you're taking into account a monster's elemental weaknesses of course. On top of that, this is a build that has quite a few quality of life skills. Thanks to having Divine Blessing, Health Boost, Recovery Up and especially Evade Window is going to make hunts feel a lot more easier than they are and it adds to your overall defense as well. And on top of that, this is a build that can be easily customized. It is not a universal build unfortunately and can't be used against every single monster out there thanks to it being an elemental build, but it can be easily customized by switching up the weapon, charm and that single elemental jewel. But unfortunately there are cons. The two biggest cons for this build is unfortunately it's on the lower side of things when it comes to the affinity rating, especially for a DPS bow build. And the other con is unfortunately is also on the lower end when it comes to stamina management skills as well. So dash juice is definitely recommended. But nonetheless, this is still a strong budget build. The biggest hurdle when it comes to the bow in terms of budget builds is getting that mighty bow jewel. As soon as you get that mighty bow jewel, it opens up a ton more options for you. You can drop the Legiana sets in favor of much stronger ones that vastly increases the bow's DPS. So that is the budget build for the bow. Of course, as you farm more and more, hunters will get more gear and weaponry, as well as expand their jewel collection. When this happens, I hope the other builds featured in the Amazing Build series will come in useful. So until next time, I've been Dubblade, bringing you a budget build for the bow in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.